once upon a time, I had my Facebook account banned. <laughs> Guys, Kim Barrett here from Your Social Voice. The dreaded Facebook ban. I'll tell you guys all about it. So, uh, you know, why is this important to you? Well, there's going to be a few key takeaways on what to do here to prevent that from happening for yourself in the business. Uh, because let's be honest, if you have one core focus on Facebook and you have an ad account banned, it's going to be a bad time. So I've actually had the, the privilege of having not only a personal account banned, but a Facebook ad account banned as well. So what happened was on the personal side of things, was uh, last year after Cambridge Analytica, Facebook forced logged out a lot of people. We had to log back in and you had to verify your login. And I was actually overseas at the time, just on the way back to Australia. And when I got back, I, it popped up. I ticked it and verified it, not a problem. Took the photo. It's probably not the best photo very early in the morning, but I was like, yeah, this is me. Sent it all in and I was locked out of my account. I could not get into my account for a full week. Right, so I, had, I was locked out the whole time. I couldn't connect with people, I couldn't message people, I couldn't find people's contact numbers because I would call, pull out my phone and call them on Facebook Messenger, I wouldn't call them on the phone. And look, it was painful. It was probably one of the worst weeks of my life. Very productive week, because I got a lot of stuff done, I couldn't even go on Facebook. But what it identified for me is like the risk that you place if you only focus on one thing. You only focus on one key area. That's why we're doing YouTube. That's why we have a podcast. That's why we have so many other methods and connection points for people with us now because if that goes away, uh oh, SpaghettiOs, you're in trouble, right? If that just disappears, your personal account, think about uh, your personal page, think about how many people you connect with that you don't have the phone number for, that you don't have the phone number to SMS them, that you don't actually have their email address because you just communicate in Messenger. Do you have client groups that are only run inside of Facebook and if that disappears, what are you gonna do about it, right? It's very, very dangerous. So number one, it identified for me about the areas of risk in a business. If you have one event, anything, one supplier, one staff member, one platform, it's gonna be a bad time. So make sure that you diversify yourself, but also make sure you still have in place the old school connection points with people. Get their emails, get their phone numbers, get other ways to contact them, not just on, on Facebook, right? Because it can be scary. Now, the second point on that is when I had my ad account banned, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have maybe experienced or maybe that's why you're watching this video. So uh, it's happened not once, not twice, but thrice, four times maybe, I don't know. Uh, it happened a few times to me. Now, the big key point now is that you need to make sure that you're adhering to Facebook's terms and conditions, right? You have to be doing that because otherwise what happens, boom, ad account goes down, you're in trouble, right? If that's the only way, like we've had people where they've had an event coming up and it's been going, pumping, 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 shut down. Oh, the entirety of their next two months of income was relying on all the ads that were coming in. Again, mitigate your risk, use several platforms, but make sure you abide by facial terms and conditions. You see someone else putting up a picture that has um, income claims or something like that and you try and copy it, big red X, do not do that. Right? It can be painful, it can cause you huge problems. So you need to make sure of two things. Number one, you always follow the terms and conditions that Facebook set out. Right, You always ensure that you go through those meticulously and you do not miss a beat there. Number two is backups are king. Right, You need to have separate ad accounts. I also recommend separate business managers. So two business managers, ideally with two ad accounts in each. So what happens is you mitigate your risk. Right, you have opportunities. You also need to have in place alternate payment methods. Because sometimes what happens is if a payment method goes down in one ad account, you cannot use it on another. So whether that's getting a secondary card for your credit card, you might have a credit card, secondary card, PayPal, just a normal like debit card. Have those things in place. Again, in advance, in an ideal world, nothing will ever go wrong. But please, please, please ensure that you do mitigate that risk. You do put things in place to ensure that you're protected. Now, another, this is like a little pro tip, right? Is that if you have these ad accounts set up, if nothing is spent on them in 60 days, they go down. Facebook disapproves them. So I would have on each of your three backup accounts, right? And each of your spare business managers that you have, the ad accounts with all the different payment methods, setting all these things up to make sure that you have your risk mitigated and you're covered. What you will want to do is have each one of them 
spending $1 per day, right? So you're gonna spend $90 to keep those three ad accounts backed up. It might just be promoting a really good piece of content that you have, just tick it along, tick it along, tick it along. But ensure that you have that mitigated. Because if any time you need to go in and crank up ad spend and you set things up, all hell can break loose. Now, pro tip number two is make sure that the pixel you have for each of them is like create an individual pixel. Because again, pixels can get banned. It can get deleted, it can get shut down. Have a pixel from each ad account. So all four pixels on your funnels, right? On your pages. So then if you need to go pull an audience, it's in. You need to go pull a custom conversion, it's in. There's no waiting, there's no hoping, there's no, oh, now I've got to wait. It's ready to go. So that is your risk mitigation process. So I'm gonna cover it again, because there's a few things there that I wanna make sure that, you know, like if this happened to me, it's painful, it's a stab to the stomach, it's a kick in the guts, uh, or somewhere else as well, right? But I wanna make sure you guys have that in place. So number one is four backup accounts, two separate business managers, two ad accounts in each. Number two is different payment method for each. Number three, having them on $1 per day each. Number four, having a pixel from each ad account on there. If you do that, and look, this is only cause I've got ad accounts shut down on me when I was in the middle of launching something, running something, and it's like, cool, where's all my leads now for next week for the sales guys? Where's all the leads now for my event? Where's all the promotion now for this? It's like, oh, it's not gonna be a good time. Right, so I, I, for you, I want you to have the best chance of success possible. So make sure you have those things in place because you'll be like me, you'll be in the middle of running an event for someone and an ad account goes down. What are you gonna do? You have to go wait and get a new payment method. Right, it's, it's happened, it's painful, and uh, it's not a fun time, right, at all. So please learn from my failures on this side. That's the only way that I've learned how to do this and make sure I have things in place. Now I have accounts specific for certain parts of my business that are promoting on certain avenues that all work in synergy together, right? But if you don't do that, you do open yourself up for potential risk. You do open yourself up to be, uh, you know, to, to, to suffer the fate of Kim of having an ad account go down. Now, going back to the personal account, when my personal account went down, guess what? I can't log into any ad accounts. All client ads are still running. So if you're a Facebook advertiser or you're running for yourself, you're spending 500 bucks a day, 100 bucks a day, 10 bucks a day, you can't go and check what the results are. Because if your personal ad account goes down, uh oh, SpaghettiOs, you can't log into Ads Manager. Risky, right? So also make sure you have a spouse, a loved one, a uh, work colleague, someone else connected into that as well so that you don't miss out. Luckily for us, we have a team. Team all connected to Ads Manager. I could get in fine during that week, but trust me, guys, it's painful. Learn from my pain, my tears, tears of uh, frustration and failure. Learn from them. Uh, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up if it made sense. You drop me a comment down below if you've had the same thing happen to you. It's painful, I know. Now, at least now, you can. There's more ways to get around it. You can chat with Facebook, but let us know down below. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on a little ding little bell symbol turn that on and make sure you get these views before anyone else it's going to help you grow your business better than anyone guys until next time i am kim barrett y'all been awesome thanks for sharing my pain we'll see you next time